time. And he just moved it one closer to getting purple. Well, Fox is beneath it. Yeah. But honestly, at that point, I really doubt Drex was thinking about that. Yeah. I mean, and it's still good to kill Pikmin, obviously. Yeah. But it's also good to recognize when that's what the Omar wants you to do. And you're not actually pushing or punishing this attack. All right. But we got Fox. The type, this type of matchup is completely different. Right. This so might. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. You go. You go. This matchup is Fox destroys Omar on stage. He has better frame data. Really now. He has better kill setups. Really now. He's got better mobility. Thank you. But as soon as he gets Fox off stage, it's completely, completely reversed. Yeah. But you have to get Fox off stage. I'm, I'm taking notes right now. I'm literally taking mental yeah. notes right now. Because this is the matchup that we played yeah. instead. This is the matchup. When yes. you're on Omar against Fox on stage, it's not great for Omar. He has to commit so hard to throw out a button with Fox to smother him immediately. Right. But as soon as he's off stage, Omar can two frame or spike easily. And I truly think that what makes Luis one of the best boxes in the world. That was a great Pikmin toss. Man, he threw the white, immediately goes to the purple back here to take the stock. Yeah. What I was gonna say was I think what makes Luis one of the best boxes in the world is his ability to oh, just keep getting crapped on, Luis, please. <laughs> that's a good recovery. That, yeah, no, that's what I was about to say. That was my point. He recovers better than 99% of Foxes. I'm surprised that Whistle was able to come through. I know that Fox grounded Fox Illusion true confirms to an upper. Yeah. Not completely true, you definitely have to you have to move correctly for it. You know what? I I respect that choice from Luis, but he gets the back air like that. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? He jumps at you three times back air? <laughs> you gonna try to up smash one of them on block? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> oh, look, speaking of back airs. Alright, so he's off stage. Lands aggressively. It exactly stuffs out the Omar's up air. Alright, so here's something that I have to I have to point out, the whistle. You really, like, against Luis, you definitely can't rely on Whistle to land. Even if it's faster than air dodging, like you said, you can't rely on it uh, every time you get hit. Whistle is best for making people think more about the buttons they're about to throw. Yeah. That combo that works on everyone, not going to work on all one in that situation. That looks crazy. What happened there? They, he like, clank? He was hitting everything at once. <laughs> all right. Sorting through the lineup, these two purples are going to be crucial to keep up pressure. Yes, and, the and thing one is, he, is already dead. He wants to want obviously rack up this damage, but the double purple is so good for that because they're hitboxes, and you definitely want to keep Fox out. Fox has so many aerials that if the if the blue, red, or yellow Pikmin get attached, he can just like throw out a couple of buttons, like and just run away for a little bit and take them off. But the purples are going to stay there. They're going to hit you. Obviously. You are talking about how Luis has run up and like done up smash Ooh. several times and it goes a little bit too far off stage, not quite get able to get there with the weight of the purple bringing it down. <laughs> the weight! Wait, okay, is that actually a thing or are you kidding? No, it's real. Okay, it's really a thing, okay. Purple's heaviest, oh white is the lightest. I know that I, but I know they have different weights, I just didn't know if it affected the recovery. It only affects recovery. Oh, okay. So the That's other great to know. Well, I thought like they have different arcs, right? The huh? Pikmin have different trajectories? Oh, they have different speeds, but the weight only matters when Omar is carrying them. God, this is how little so I know. The three <laughs> primary Omar. colors weigh the same. White is the, the lightest, purple is the heaviest. So if you just have a single white Pikmin, it's the second most mobile state you can be in. Alright, I'm going to break the fourth wall for a bit. As little as I know about Olimar, I commentate it way too much not know enough about it. I mean, you never really need I don't to get into the nuances that deep unless you play the character. Yeah. Because Which is great. Yeah, realistically, in that situation, that was not going to affect how Luis approached plot to off stage. Yeah. His well, I mean, thought like, was, he's got two Pikmin or one, you know, I'm going to cover this angle or make off. It's not going to be, he has a white instead of one purple. He's going to be a little bit more mobile. No one I know is playing like quite at that level when it comes to this character. Against this character. Oh, and he's never touched the ground. Luis, Luis makes that back air look, look like... The most broken move. He makes it look so out. smooth. Yeah, he's smooth. That's a good. That's a good word. Smooth. It transitions so seamlessly from his ground. Yeah. And the single purple wasn't available for the parry punish, but it comes right back. 
That's what makes uh, Up Smash such a great smash tag is that the Pikmin does not lie on the ground prone after it's done. They're available immediately. I think that recovery is a little bit too impatient from Luis. Consolidates the stock anyway, it doesn't matter, it just but. Chases him down to the yeah. edge of the stage, immediately ends it. No, Klaatu really exposed him off stage right there for the, uh, for the recovery. You see that uh, Luis tried to get a landing back air on that white Pikmin as he was walking back towards Klaatu. It's a great presence of mind, because this, oh this is the percent where he's the most dangerous. The patience for Luis right now. Oh, he's yeah. back and forth seamlessly. Bates out the grab. Who's next? He's not oh, gonna get yo. the chance to pluck it. Yeah, pluck it. Just pluck it. <laughs> Just pluck it. This man has not had a chance to land on the ground. Man carried him like he was Lucas with the Zare. Alright. Alright. Ooh, he, if that had connected, I'm sure the up air would have been close to taking the stock. What I'm, what I'm really liking from Luis right now is that he is in in Klaatu's face. Uh, he did commit to that read, but he certainly had it. Even with things like that... Oh, oh my god, that he, L smash! So he killed the Pikmin out of the up air. Before it became transcendent. I think that actually saved Klaatu's life yeah, there, but... it did. That down air taking Luis's and throws the purple off stage. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. A little nice. bit of club right there from Luis gets Klaatu back right. onto the stage and look at this damage. Does this joint do not mess around? And neither does that F smash. I'm oh, sorry, up smash. Once again, taking so many stocks. Yeah. Luis. That was a risky grab. Oh my God! Yeah, the, all those hitboxes that Luis is throwing out—they're so fast, especially on the ground at early percents. It's perfect. Just short hop nearing that ledge menacingly. Yeah. Menacingly. Menacingly. Literally. He can jump multiple times in the time Omar can throw out one move. Yeah. One move. He's a fastballer. So, klaatu has got to make those moves count. And the laser killing the Pikmin before it's thrown. So much damage just from those two. Purple was not available for a punish, but the back air is going to do it. All right. That's the weakness of only having one Pikmin. He had the read for something more, but the Pikmin wasn't there. Ow. But that back air taking it. Yeah, back air taking it. The purple back air, so strong. Killing it like 87. Close to the side of the stage. Get the same frame data. Much more power. And range isn't really an issue with purple on the aerials. Yeah, it really isn't. Uh, okay, so looks like, are we going battlefield? I think we're going to want Oops, small stage. I like uh, Klaatu's mentality of small stages. It's something I'm moving towards more as I play old in this game. I mean, but I guess a character like Fox. Yeah, it's like, you, do you really want the game do to I be want, faster do I against want Fox? Him to be closer? The thing that does go in Omar's favor is that because those platforms really make you jump ins a little bit harder to commit to. Oh, up smash. Hits okay. The, hits the pick with me before the, act, the hitbox becomes active, so no punish. Alright, beginning of this game looking a lot better for Luis, getting Klaatu up to 79%. Yeah, intentional or not, had his turn yet. Intentional or not, the laser's actually stuffing out a lot of these Pikmin tosses. Alright, uh, checking his bone, he was not happy with not that exchange. He could not have been happy with that stock in general. Yo, the hard read right there with the up smash. This is, like, this is a really tough situation for Klaatu. And I think these platforms are actually helping uh, oh. Luis, not only with obviously up air chains, but giving Luis a, like a, a second dimension of landing option. Well, they definitely are. Yeah. Especially with how uh, punishable his recovery is low. I understand what Plato is going for, but the mobility on these platforms just lets Luis kind of dance around him. He's just able to cover, cover his options so effortlessly. Tries to meet up smash, but up smash doesn't get it. Hits the shield instead. I think he was, ooh, ooh, good call out right there from Klaatu. That was a smart reflex, but yeah, he saw right through it. Next to the air dodge. In the air, yeah, he's able to get off. Just wants purple to be the next one in line, guaranteed. Nice dash attack follow up. It does true confirm into up air, so it presents. Now, I want to see a little bit more like. I, I want to see him use different options to cover 
uh, get up. Oh, at down the ledge. tilt into back air. Down tilt. I would have liked to see it there, but much harder to land that in that situation. Oh, Fire tries to go over the Okay, so the Firefox, if you're not aware, is there to act as their box to force Ooh. an attack up situation like that gets it. Luis up a stock now, 107% on him. Purple, anything might kill him. If he could have oh, okay. ditched the pavement and gone under the stage, but then he would have gone to the other side with nothing available. And this, oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. There's not enough fuel. Not enough time to throw the two Pikmin before going into the blast zone, forced to up the immediately. Well, I'm taking some notes right there because if you're a Fox main like me, you want to take some notes in this matchup because uh, one of all, like, one of Olimar's biggest tools is the fact that he can stall with the float to get back onto the stage, mix it up. And Luis sees a lot, like, sees through that very well. And he was able to set himself up with a Firefox to put all a, a plot suit in that position. It's not even covering the weight. He's forcing yeah. Plot suit to go high, but in a lot of situations, he's already committed so low. Yeah. He can't really get back to stage without running out of fuel. So what's the stage pick this time? Looked away for a second. I imagine it's gonna be something a bit bigger. I like. You got the lilac, yeah. I like this thing. For Olimar. Yeah. All right. The platforms are Why? still there. Yeah. But the platforms are all about. The, oh, and the blind spot. The platforms are all about the same distance away from the base stage, which means you don't need to commit nearly as hard to travel between them, which is important for Olimar because he's a lot slower than Fox. So he can go from middle platform or top without really having to uh, commit too hard to landing off that. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what that was. He thought he was going to be a little bit lower. Ooh. I don't know if that was a shield poke. That's got to be. That had to have been a shield poke. I think he dropped shield. Really? Because when we said baited out of weight, he just stood there. I'm not sure. I don't think he dropped shield. Yeah. But in any case, these lilac platforms along the tilt. Very good for the Pikmin toss. Omar can throw Pikmin and cover the entire stage. Yeah, doesn't really There's, need to do too much. Oh, he has the yellow, that active hitbox, that extra range. Just what he needed. All right, purple on deck. Just swinging with these back airs, but the up air is going to take it. Oh, all right, this is a good line. If you can get an up smash, you can get some massive damage. Beats up in there. All right, this is dangerous. He used a lot of fuel right there. Oh my God! Using the using the illusion as a tempo chaser or a tempo changer, rather. Well, he knows where he's going, and that's the fastest way to get there. And oh, okay. There, there was no way. Yeah. It might have been technical, but you don't even know what part of the stage you can hit first. Well, I think it's dependent on which side of box you end up on. You definitely get sent outward based on wherever you are in the box. But yeah, okay. Just a blue. He's exploiting Actually this. Actually exterminated by the fire. All right. Oh yeah, and it also kills the Pikmin that are they get caught in the fire box. Except the red. Except the red, yes. He wasn't okay. quite get it because of the slant stage. Covers the low option. I'm Luis loving the recovery options here from Luis. And you gotta make it count when the recovery is that limited. Oh, it's bad. Okay, why would you do that? <laughs> Did he drop down already? Yeah. Yeah, it might have been able to just two frame with down smash. Went to the down air. All right, the purple. Oh, nice Pikmin dash. I liked it more. Olimar's just starting to use that initial. Oh, I thought that was going to be... Okay. He didn't want to kill, kill him with up smash, so he just goes for the dash tag back air. All right, got it. Thanks, Luis. What a monster. This is where the match is very, very hard. How do you keep Fox away? How do you stop Fox from getting in your face? I don't know. How, How did do you, you do it in our set? You know what? 